Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 3rd to the 9th of August 2020 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope you are Leo. So I'm pulling your overarching message, your energy for the week from this, this deck, the Tarot Grand Lux by Marchetti. This is Whispers of Lord Ganesha, Angel Answer Cards. Main tarot card decks are the Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot. And finishing off with the Secret Garden Oracle deck. Okay. <laughs> now that we have that out of the way, let us get to your reading. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. Okay, one card flew out. We have the Six of Swords. It's a beautiful energy, the Six of Swords. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Leo. 3rd to the 9th of August 2020. Message for Leo. We have number 26, Insight. I feel it's linked with this energy, Leo, the Six of Swords. Lovely energy, okay. And Angels, what is the message for Leo, please? Message for Leo, thank you. We have if you believe and trust. Okay, Leo, I pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards by going deeper into your message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, okay? So what do we have for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? 3rd to the 9th of August, 2020. Knight of Wands. Your challenge, Leo, we have Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles is advice from spirit and your outcome. <laughs> Fire energy, we have the Ace of Wands, lovely, okay. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guide, 3rd to the 9th of August, 2020. Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups. The Hermit, and Death. <laughs> oh my goodness, Leo, we have the full New Beginnings. Okay. So for some of you, you are absolutely getting clarity in how to move forward. The Six of Swords is getting that balanced perspective um, towards a new vision detaching from troubles towards karma waters. This can be linked to moving home, moving jobs, moving counties, countries. I mean, you know, you kind of get what I'm saying here. But you are absolutely going in the right direction, moving away, detaching from something that has caused you problems, issues. 
I feel this is in a relationship, Leo. I mean, it may well be. This can apply in any context, to be fair. It is a general reading. But my gut feeling is this is a relationship. Now, insight is, I kind of feel for some of you, you are getting insight clarity in how to move forward now, maybe making the right decision choice for you. Um, you know, number 26, 2 and 6, makes 8. And 8 is your card in the Major Arcana. It is the Strength card. So it's interesting that I'm getting that energy. It's almost kind of like you're beginning to understand how to move forward from something that has caused you trouble towards plain sailing and you're getting insight clarity on how to do that now there may well be some truth that you've learned as well along the way I have to say I feel this, this is absolutely about trusting your instincts where your instincts are leading you and this is about believing in who you are and um, believe that you can bring about positive change again the eight is a card of mastery mastering the situation and bring positive change to a situation by really connecting to who you are so it's a beautiful beautiful energy of trust you and I think things are becoming clear in your own mind in how you want to move forward because I'm going to get a clarifier for this knight of wands Can you clarify this Knight of Wands, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Yeah, okay. This is you, then. The Fool. It's a card of Sagittarius, so you've either been dealing with a Sagittarius, or this is you charging your head, getting back on the horse, liberating yourself, because we have the Fool here. Liberating yourself from a betrayal or a hurt, a deep hurt. And I feel this has been in a relationship. Like I said, certainly with the Challenge Energy being, cu challenge energy being Cups, it's to do with the heart, the emotions, the feelings here. Or somebody that you were deeply connected to, somebody that you trusted. You see the way the cards have come out? We have insight and trust. It's almost kind of like you're beginning to see somebody for what they are as well. So for some of you, this betrayal, the swords are linked to truth, clarity, um, illumination almost and I kind of feel for some of you you are getting clarity on a person this can be about betrayal deep hurts deep wounds words being used as weapons but it's a deeply difficult energy to move on from it's a 10 however and a 10 in the minor arcana is an ending is a completion so it's almost kind of like you're being told liberate yourself from this person or this situation now and move forward on a new direction, a new path. It's almost kind of like um, you're just detaching from what's gone. You're detaching from this person, whoever caused you hurt, pain. You know, and the Knight of Wands is somebody who gets back on the horse, takes the reins of their life and charges ahead. He's interested in opportunity, in power, in what excites him, what drives him, putting his energy into advancement. He also is somebody who finds direction, and I feel if this is you, Leo, you are absolutely finding direction. It could have been with another fire sign as well, so Aries, Sagittarius. But your challenge is saying goodbye, walking away, um, finding the words to express how you feel. But I kind of feel, Leo, that certainly with the fool being at, being at the beginning and end of your reading, I kind of feel that you are getting clarity in how you want to move forward. And I certainly feel for some of you, you want to liberate yourself from this person or situation now and focus on a major new chapter. You want to open a new door. I mean, the fool is, mine, is major arcana. Um, you know, the death is major arcana here. This is big life changes. Um, and, I, and I kind of feel for some of you that, you know, certainly with this Ace of Wands, the Wand of Fire, your energy, your element, you are wanting to go in a new direction. You're wanting to liberate yourself from this person and walk away, say goodbye. It might well be someone said goodbye to you or you're saying goodbye to them. Either way, the message is get back on the horse, take the reins of your life, charge ahead,
go full throttle towards a new beginning because that's what the fool is all about it is about embracing the possibilities of the new the hermit energy is a card of healing and finding illumination from within in how you need to move forward in your external environment some of you may well be focusing on your money your career this is about doing the practical things to work through a situation and slowly but surely you're healing Leo the way you heal is to focus on what brings you reward on the positive aspects of what brings you reward um, this eight of eight of pentacles energy is just focusing on the practical things doing one step at a time and slowly but surely by doing that by focusing maybe on your work career area or training in a new skill or occupation um it can be in terms of hobbies as well you know um something that you enjoy it's how you heal you work through it you do the practical things that you need to do to work through a situation and bring positive change to your circumstances yeah and I do feel that's how you slowly but surely shed an old skin the death card is a card of the Phoenix rising the Phoenix rises from the ashes by actively destroying the old and this is why you've been working through a situation that has hurt you very deeply. I mean, Ten of Swords is really deep hurt energy. It's deep betrayal energy. It is somebody that you trusted stabbing you in the back. You know, energy, you know, can be any of those scenarios. And this is a card of release, rebirth, letting all go, drawing a line under it, and stepping forward and charging ahead towards the new beginning, new opportunity now this can actually represent opportunity if you're advancing in terms of money career this can be an opportunity this can also be in terms of new love connections this can represent passion electricity connection chemistry um, but it is just also you putting your efforts towards healing from something that hurt you deeply and opening a new door you know taking a chance taking a leap of faith in a new direction liberating yourself from what's gone Leo because you're beginning to see the big picture you're understanding how you want to move forward now and taking steps to make that happen and you know the fool is a card It's the first unnumbered card of the tarot deck which means anything is possible when it's number zero it's like anything is possible this is the rebirth this is your rebirth, the wand of fire, you know? This is the power of fire. You finding your spark in your Leo season, detaching from something that hurt you and finding that flame again to move forward in a major new chapter, I feel for some of you. It's such a beautiful energy, certainly for your season. You're feeling empowered, you're feeling the positive shift and the cosmic boost of the sun being in your sign and it's just a lovely, lovely energy. Okay, any other advice for Leo, please? Any other advice for Leo, please? That flew out. <laughs> yeah, the Four of Swords is a card of somebody who recovers from conflict or who has been in recovery from conflict and they're seeing the way forward now so this is where you've been recovering you are absolutely seeing the way forward now leo it's a lovely energy so any other message angel spirits guys final message before the oracle cards Yeah, you've been recovering from a loss. Either you're walking away from somebody or somebody's walked away from you. And this is the process that you're going through. You're working through a situation to accept endings and therefore embrace a powerful new chapter. But you know what? This new chapter is so exciting with the wonder fire. 
because this is about finding your spark you know it's your energy this card is called the power of fire and that is what you're tapping into you are the phoenix rising rising from the ashes of the old in your new light stepping foot on a new journey so i feel for some of you you're ready to move forward having gone through some kind of, of loss um, I feel this is more relationships, Leo. Something has ended. There may well be regrets associated with it. But you know, I don't think it's stopping you from holding you back. I think you're getting illumination, finding answers on the direction I'm moving forward now. Oh, there's too many there. So one more card. Yeah, you're getting back on track. You're getting back on track and you're finding direction. I feel you're the knight. I do. Um, I feel you are the knight, taking the reins of your life and charging ahead again. You don't really stay down for long, Leo. Um, I think this is you bouncing back. And you know, you're opening a major new chapter here. It's such a lovely energy of bringing value. You know, this Eight of Pentacles, focusing your energy on what is going to get you back on track bringing solidity, security. This is also Virgo energy, healing from what's gone. Um, but absolutely, finding new value, new opportunity, new connections ahead. Um, finding your direction again. It's a lovely, lovely energy, Leo, of just moving on. Moving on. A new chapter. I mean, you've got two fools. This is a powerful new chapter for you. And you're being told to allow endings to happen in order to embrace a powerful, powerful, powerful new beginning. Okay. Yeah. I think this is very much linked to that Four of Swords energy that we saw. Rest, slow down, you don't have to solve everything today. This is very much working through a situation in your own pace, in your own time, to get back on track. But you know, Leo, I do feel for some of you, you are beginning to take control of a situation and understand how to consciously move on now. It's a beautiful energy. And we have Discover. Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun. I feel this is discovering what you're made of here. And bringing positive change to your life as well. The Knights in Tarot represent change. I'm not going to do all those, there's too many. <laughs> Gosh, Leo, you've got such energy in your cards. Thank you. Yeah, joy. Make time for the little things today. Yeah, and I do feel for some of you, you are liberating from what's gone and moving forward. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.